Good morning, guys. Uh, today is construction day 132, and uh, I'm going to do a quick walk and talk. Uh, just kind of discuss a topic of uh, buying land and building a home in the Philippines. So it seems like all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of emails. I would say I've gotten about 12 emails uh, within the last 30 days of foreigners who are either here in the Philippines uh, just arrived um, or about to arrive. And it seems like they waited uh, for the new year. So a lot of people are arriving uh, right around the holidays and into January. Uh, just give you an example. Uh, in the last, I would say, two weeks, uh, we've met with about four subscribers, uh, two of which we met off-site and two came up to the site. And all four are looking for property. Uh, and said that they would like to, to build a home here in the Philippines. Uh, this week alone, uh, I'm meeting a subscriber today, uh, coming up to the work site, and then I'm also scheduled uh, for another subscriber tomorrow. And uh, both of those gentlemen are looking for land uh, now. Uh, they have been uh, for a few weeks now as they just arrived in this area not too long ago. So with those uh, several folks looking for land now, uh, that has boots on the ground now, and then uh, at least another dozen um, that are about to arrive or has arrived and just starting their search. Um, I can't say it enough. Uh, slow it down, uh, use caution, uh, be very careful uh, if you uh, decide that you like a, a piece of land. Uh, do your homework, uh, check with the municipal, get a good attorney, uh, don't uh, take uh, what a real estate agent uh, tells you uh, or the owner of the property says as gospel. May be accurate, may be good information, um, but don't take the chance. So again, I've said this in some live streams. I've said it in other videos. Uh, guys, slow it down. Um, you know, you're in a new country, everything is new, the weather's nice, you know, looking at the beautiful scenery, you know, ocean is close by, um, you guys are, uh, you know, going out to dinner every night um, and, you know, saying I, I can't wait uh, to, to finally move uh, from your home country uh, here um, to start your new life. Um, just so many stories, and I'm, and I'm sure you've heard it so many times, uh, of people that uh, you know come here with that uh, excitement and uh, just end in disaster. So slow it down, take your time. Um, my recommendation is look at a lot of property uh, and don't limit yourself uh, just to this island, uh, Negros Oriental. Um, there's no reason why you can't branch out and, and look at other areas of the country as well. If you're uh, retirement age or close to retirement, uh, there's no need to rush. You can uh, rent a home here like Wilma and I did uh, fairly cheaply. You can live here uh, you know, pretty cheap uh, while you're looking for property. Uh, there's always Airbnb. Um, there's lots of different uh, ways that you can, uh, you know, live in an area and, and look for land. You don't have to buy the first piece that you find. So, again, I can't say it enough. Take your time. Um, get out there. Don't limit yourself to one realtor. Um, be cautious of a friend of a friend. Here are so many stories. And, uh, you know, we've made quite a few friends here. And we hear their stories. Um, we have one friend uh, that bought land, paid for the land, um, but it's uh, subdivided land, but the subdivision is not approved. So now they're waiting, and it's been well over a year uh, with little to no progress. So now they paid for land, uh, can't build on it. We know of another person uh, in this area who actually bought and paid for land and come to find out that the municipality will never allow them, uh, for whatever reason, to build on it. So basically the land is worthless uh, to build a home. 
Now they can use it for other things, growing vegetables or whatever they want to do. But can you imagine that you uh, retire to the Philippines? You know, you're all excited. Uh, you're here looking for land. You know, you're saying every day, oh, this is paradise. Everybody is so nice, which is all true. Uh, but then uh, you purchase a piece of land. Then come to find out, you can't build on it. Uh, so for every uh, success story out there, there's also some failures. So you got to make sure that uh, you make sure that, uh, you know, your property search ends positively uh, and not negatively. You don't want to be in that column of, of uh, issues. Um, there's also a lot of examples of foreigners who built homes uh, with their Filipino wife and come to find out that the house is built and uh, the house, the title for the house can't be transferred for one reason or another. So now you invested all this money into a home that you don't own the land. Um, you have a deed of sale, but the title was never transferred for whatever reason. So there's so many different issues out there. Um, and I just wanted to, to spend this time once again, like I said, I've sent it in past um, videos before, but it just seems like over the last few weeks, maybe up to a month, um, there's gotta be about 12 more guys expats that are you know coming into the area um, they all said they want to come up to the work site like I said I have one today one tomorrow we've had about four in the last few weeks uh, more and more people want to schedule uh, to see our build and I was even at a Christmas party and I had an expat come up to me and said hey I've seen your channel and I would like uh, to sit down and in his words I'll pick your brain uh, because I want to be careful not to make any mistakes uh, so, uh, you know, you really got to be thinking about that. So slow it down, take it easy, uh, look at as, as much property as you can, and, and make sure that everything is in order before you transfer any of your uh, retirement dollars over to anybody. No earnest money, no money up front. Don't do anything like that. Uh, when the deed of sale is handed over to you, uh, that's when you hand over the full amount, um, not uh, earnest money up front. Because I've heard stories about that as well. So uh, let's get up to the work site and uh, see what's going on. All right, so we uh, graduated to uh, little bits of chicken uh, with rice, with a little condensed milk, and then uh, a little water as well. So uh, Wilma cooked some chicken and then uh, made it really fine, shredded it very small. And it looks like uh, she has some carrots or something in there too. <laughs> but uh, they definitely uh, have no trouble eating. So they really took to eating quick. So just uh, natural to them, I guess. But this is the uh, first time that they have a bunch of uh, chicken in there shredded chicken with their uh, rice and a little bit of condensed milk. All right, so the driveway uh, dried up enough uh, to get our two loads or four cubics of stone for landscaping. So that's good news. They were able to get this up late yesterday. So look how close they got it to the carport. Uh, did a real nice job because we're going to use the majority of this uh, down this west side fence. So now we can start uh, you know, prepping the stone for that. But uh, two more truckloads. And take a look at the boys. They're really starting to roam around. They, they look for me. So as soon as I start uh, doing a video, uh, they... Uh, they run right to me, especially if I uh, get down to ground level. They definitely uh, run after me. So they're definitely uh, used to us now. You can see, of course, Sandy is uh, in the picture as well. Hey, Philip. They just got done eating. So they definitely have full bellies. Hey, Pino. What are you doing? 
So they're just all over the work site. So today they had their first uh, chicken meal. <laughs> but they're uh, definitely running around. Very inquisitive. And uh, they're doing they're doing really good, guys. A couple weeks away, and uh, they'll go to their uh, new homes. And uh, we're gonna miss them. That's a good looking puppy. They're good looking too, Pino. You guys recall uh, we made a decision early on in the building process uh, to have all the columns on the two sides of the house and the back of the house to have the columns stick out uh, side so you can see there's a column here another column there and it goes like that all the way around the house uh, but in the front of the house, because of the modern design, we did not want to see any columns. So we didn't want to see anything sticking out just across the front of the house. Uh, but to accomplish that, you have to have the columns inside the house. So see here in the corner where you can see part of the column. So that repeats inside the front of the house, but not on the two sides in the back. And then also it repeats here on the fence. So all the way around the perimeter of the fence, and you can see going down the fence, the columns uh, stick out. So uh, I do this quick uh, video. Uh, to show you um, what we're doing on the west side. So the guys was able to form up, remember all the uh, pieces of column that was not poured. You were just uh, looking at the rebar and then all the rebar that was sticking out of the panels. Uh, they, they were able to get them uh, all cut today and they pulled the forms off. So you can see now we have the extension, you know, the final rough column so you can see that the way they poured this fence there's no reveal or you don't see the columns um, and obviously with the theme of the house and the east side fence uh, we definitely want that same look on this side we wouldn't want the wall to be just flat on this side the west side and then you look over to the east side and they have all columns that you can see and we're going to paint the, these columns a different color and then the wall panels itself a different color so it'll stand out so it's a new term for me they call it nosing that's what the locals call it here the guys here so what they're doing now is they pulled off all the forms so you can see they have all the columns completed and you can see the fresh concrete but what they're working on is, I'll walk here so I'm out of the guy's way. They're in the process of building basically a fake column. So they have their snap strings. So this will be the thickness, which is the same thickness as the other side. And they're getting ready to uh, make a column. Now my understanding is, and. I uh, may have to correct myself here because I didn't talk to the guys that they actually put rebar in here uh, to help support the concrete. But uh, when they get closer to constructing the column, I'll, I'll do another video to see if that's uh, accurate or not. I believe I heard them say that uh, quite a few weeks ago when they were trying to explain to me uh, nosing. But you can see how thick it's going to be. So it looks like about two inches thick. You know the same width as the columns on the other side and they'll build this out and make it nice and square 
and it will just appear like it's just a normal column all the way down. And we're doing that just to, to keep the, the same theme. So the back wall, we didn't do that because that's more of a room. Uh, but on the two sides and the front, um, we want to have the, uh, the column reveal. So they're working on that now, and I'll try to do some additional videos either later today or tomorrow as they uh, start creating uh, these columns. So the guys mixed up some cement, and uh, it doesn't appear that they're using rebar. I, I thought I heard a while back that they were going to put two strips of rebar. I heard that uh, from someone. Uh, but it, this looks like... Uh, they got their string lines and they're throwing the first bunch of uh, concrete and starting to build uh, out the, uh, the faux column. So it looks like they're working three at a time. And then they'll let that dry. Usually they'll let it dry about 45 minutes. And then they start shaping it as well as uh, adding more to get it to come out to uh, the correct size. and making sure it's square. You can see they're just throwing it on. So Ramel is starting to dig that trench for the electrical outlet that'll be in the island. So all the wires here will be embedded inside the uh, concrete. So he's working on that today um, as you know the tile guys are starting to, to get to this area. So they wanna get all the wires run um, before they cover it over uh, with tile. All right, so the three guys are working five columns at a time, and they're at various stages. So you can see now they, the first coat dried, and now they're putting on the second coat. And now you can start to see it's starting to come out to their snap line, which is uh, the correct thickness for this column. So you can definitely see the column taking shape. Just throw in that cement and sand mix and they're doing the shaping. And they keep going back and forth because they're at different levels. So take a look at this one. A little further along. So this one's gotten uh, some shape to it. So they got the corners, but still not out all the way so as you can see just a little piece of my finger left to go out so there's another uh, coat to go on here you can see the column taking shape then the third column looks like it's at the next stage which is now is basically that stage plus another layer so now see the snap string right there they have it out to the right level. And now they're getting it all in shape. Still obviously needs to be smoothed out. But you can definitely see the column coming to life. And then here's the next stage, which is basically that column now getting uh, smoothed out. So you can see just little areas that they feel need a little more concrete just to make it uh, as straight as possible. And it definitely looks good. Now this fifth column, he's now starting to dig out. So he's using a trowel. And now that it's set up, and again, it's usually about 45 minutes. But he's going down the side and just with his metal trowel, Cutting that excess cement away that's even with the snap line. So you can see how it's starting to, to take shape. And you can still see there's a lot more cement to go in the center of uh, this column. 
But you can definitely see the stages as they're working as a team of three. As they're just going down each section of wall. And you would never know that uh, this is a faux column. Looks really, really good.